Here at Jamestown Distributors, bulk composites are essential in the manufacturing of pipe boards. Check out this next video, which explains a few different types. Yeah, the different fabrics are usually comprised of E-glass, S-glass, uh, carbon, or aramid, which is commonly known as Kevlar. And by far, the first one is what you sell the most of. It's, it's, it's uh, the E-glass. It's matte, woven, roving, um, that sort of product. Look at how, you know, how attractive that pattern looks. That's really what a lot of manufacturers, I mean, they want the structural properties of the cloth, but they're also after the, um, you know, the aesthetic factor, whether it's carbon, Kevlar, even glass for that matter. You know, some, some fabrics are more open than others. Um, cloths are generally pretty tight. I mean, they don't let a lot of resin go through. The mat is not matte, it's just sprinkled roving, stitched to the back. Oh, okay. And, um, you know, it's used a lot for tabbing in bulkheads, partitions, uh, over stringers, you know, a lot of repair work. Yeah. And the fact that it's plus minus 45, you know, the whole theory there is that if you've got a, a horizontal and a vertical, if you lay some of this down into that, all the fibers in the mat are working. You, the laminate's wet, you've got it in there, you lay a strip of peel ply in, you know, work it in. When it's dry, you pull that peel ply off and you've got a really nice compacted, you know, surface that's ready to paint or putty or even just leave alone. This is peel ply. And that's basically this fabric here. Yeah, there's a beautiful carbon that you stock. I mean, generally that's 12 inch, 24 inch wide. Uh, typically used for making, you know, longer parts that you want to have. In, you know, really accurate directional orientation of the fiber. And, um, you know, things like rudder blades, center boards, dagger boards, tillers, masts, anything which sort of long and narrow. We don't necessarily care that much about the zero, the 90 direction. You want to get a, a lot of zero down at one time. These work really well, and they're generally narrower. But that product is available in, um, you know, a cloth, a uni, or a biaxial. You know, if you really want a solid, incredibly strong part, just stick with you know, the carbon. Or... With the cloth fabrics, they lend themselves to hybridizing of the input fibers. So you can take a carbon in input and you can you know, weave it with a Kevlar input and come up with a really nice looking you know, hybrid type fabric. There's a handful of ways to process these. The simplest way is just to take the fabric, wet it out, you know, roll it out with a, with a roller, maybe squeegee it, walk away from it, done. You can get as simple as that or as sophisticated as a, an autoclave or a, or a hot press or, you know, any sort of closed moving operation. And the, the world of composites just, you know, runs that range of uh, processes. Cloth composites add strength and flexibility to our kite boards. To find the right composite for your next project, you can visit our website at jamestowndistributors.com.